everybody, Coaster Credits here, and welcome to another video. In this video, I will be discussing my top 10 underrated coasters. Let's begin. Number 10 is Scream at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now, many of you guys are probably like, what? Dislike, dislike immediately. Well, give me a second, okay? First of all, Scream, a lot of people hate it. It's the same exact thing as Bizarro. And Bizarro is one of the better floorless coasters out there. So why hate on Scream? It's like the exact same thing. They fixed it by repainting it. And many people just hate it just because it sits on a parking lot. I mean, come on, people. This is for the thrills, not for, like, looking at it. This is Six Flags Magic Mountain. Alright, number nine is Mamba. Mamba, I think, is less rated and hyped about than Steel Force or Magnum. But it's, like, the same thing. It deserves the attention. And it's a great coaster. It's what sets worlds of fun apart besides Patriot and Prowler, which in my opinion are better rides. But anyways, I mean, it has that intense helix. It has a lot of intensity. So why does everyone just, like, assume it's worse than, worse than Steel Force? I mean, I get that there aren't, like, forests around it. It's planes, but come on. Like, it looks like a great ride. Alright, number 8 is Manta. Many of you have probably disliked on two accounts now. But trust me, I have ridden this. And many people put Tatsu on their lists up at like number um, 14 or something. And even though Tatsu is slightly better, I don't see Manta at all on their lists. I mean, Manta's an incredible coaster. It blows the Superman Ultimate Flights away. That pretzel loop's insane. You get missed when you go down, like, dive down to the water. There are four inversions. You get, um, you lay on your back for a lengthy duration on some of it. It's really cool. It's a great ride. And on top of that, it has great theming. So why hate on it? It's just as good as Tatsu, pretty much. Alright, number seven. You probably have disliked on three different accounts now. This is Medusa Steel Coaster. Now, let me clarify. No RMCs are overrated. But, this one, for some reason, everyone just presumes it's the worst RMC. I mean... Maybe you haven't seen POVs of it, people, but this coaster is insane. It has insane turns, insane twists, insane barrel down drop. It's crazy, and everyone just even calls Storm Chaser better than this. The Joker better than this. When they don't even come close to this. I mean, is it just because not have... have not as many people have ridden it, since it's not in the United States. I don't know. But people need to give this ride more attention. Because I think it's one of the better RMCs. And people just presume it's not that good. Alright, number six is definitely an underrated coaster. No doubt about it. Talon. At, um, Dorney Park. This ride is really intense. It goes through its inversions, like, without stopping. It's really forceful. It just doesn't stop, with the exception of that one little hill in the middle. But, I mean, it's crazy that people call Patriot better than this. They're, like, the exact same thing. Um, I would even call this one more intense. But this one has, like, the old-school B&M style, which I really am a big fan of, and you see it in the next coaster on the list. And it's just a great ride, but many people 
just judge it because it's at Dorney Park, probably. I mean, it's definitely the best ride in the park. Alright, number five is Koomba. Now, you probably have given four dislikes to this video, but still, most citizens of Orlando hate this ride because they call it rough. Let me just clarify. When I went on this ride, it was really smooth. I mean, except for the corkscrews, of course. But it was so intense. It's one of the most intense coasters I've been on, ever. It looks amazing. It, it never has a line. It dives into a tunnel under the station. It loops over the lift hill. And it has seven inversions. And it really doesn't stop. Even the mid-course break run doesn't kill the momentum that much. It's an incredible ride. Definitely the best ride at Busch Gardens Tampa. Maybe Montu is, but this is either first or second. So don't just listen to the citizens of Orlando that call it rough. I mean, some citizens of Orlando and Tampa like it, but most, like, call it really rough for some reason when it's not. Number four is Behemoth. Now, I've ridden all three BM Hypers in, the, in North America that have staggered seating, and this one's definitely the best of the three. This one is glossy, um, and it, it will... Intimidator's a forceless, boring ride. Not boring, but it's... The B and M failed at it. Diamondback's great. It would be better than this, but it has a really bad rattle, and you definitely get more airtime over the hills on these for some reason. Now I'm not the biggest fan of that ending helix, but still, this ride is incredible. It j even though there aren't that many airtime hills at the beginning. The airtime hills at the end are really what make the ride up, trust me. Alright, number three, go ahead, make your fifth dislike. It's Intimidator 305. Now, this ride used to be overrated, but now everyone just, like, forgets about it. Probably due to Fury and Leviathan. I mean, this ride's incredible. Forceful. It dominates Millennium Force. It's better than Maverick. And Millennium and Maverick still get more hype than it. I mean, this ride, it's so fun. I mean, I can see why some people don't like it due to King's Dominion's recent decisions. But they took the trim off of the first drop, guys. They're, they at least want you to have a good ride on this coaster, and they still advertise it even though it's an Intamin. It's, like, incredible. So, I mean, like, if there weren't Fury, this would be the best coaster in North America. Not six. <coughs> Amusement today. Alright. Number two is The Voyage. Now, this ride is definitely overrated. One of the best woodies out there. Many people say it's rough. They're wrong. This ride is incredibly smooth, incredibly fast, non-stop airtime, most airtime on any coaster ever. Maybe with the exception of El Toro, of course. <laughs> but this one just is crazy. Even at the ending, it turns around the station, it's intense, it's by Gravity Group. Now I will say, why in the world are there still PTEC trains on this? That's a little crazy, but we can deal with it, you know. It's better than, like, um, Togo stand-up trains. So, yeah, this ride is an incredible ride. It's definitely underrated. And it is a reason within itself to go to Holiday World. Number one. Okay, if you dislike because of this one, you're crazy. You have to admit this coaster is underrated. Is Phantom's Revenge. This coaster. 